What's up, everyone? Welcome to this week's episode of the Just Saying Podcast. I'm your host, Justin Martindale, and this week's guest I'm so excited to have back. We have a show together here at the Comedy Store on May 9th for the Netflix is a Joke Festival. The one, the only, the fabulous. You can catch him on Radio Andy, the news with John Hill. He's also a Emmy nominee. Thank you. John Hill is back. Thank you. Thank you for the applause. More, please. Yeah. Keep, keep it coming. What, right. is, what is this Emmy nomination? <laughs> well... When you work really hard mm. um, in television mm -hmm. in the industry and you are rewarded for your decades of service to yeah. entertainment, um, I won't be self-deprecating. Do it. Very this is the cool. podcast for it. Yeah. Um, I produced a short film, a documentary called Unexpected. I'm going to laugh because I Why? can't say this with a straight face to you. <laughs> um, you're going to make me laugh, but I'm going to say it seriously. Um, it's called Unexpected. It was on Hulu. I made it with my friend, my good friend Zeb. He directed it and I helped him produce it. And it's about the crisis that African-American women in the South especially are um, suffering from HIV infections at a crazy rate. Yeah. And um, so we want to bring awareness to that. And Got a little Emmy nomination for yeah, it. Yeah, you did. And We're I... up against some little things. The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, the well, Disney Christmas Parade, um, Ukraine? Something okay. Like Ukraine. Um, and then AIDS. Yeah. I mean, what a what a very diverse category. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you wake up on Christmas morning sure, or, Thanksgiving, or Thanksgiving morning, do you want to turn on the parade or do you want to <laughs> watch this? I know what I want to watch. Yeah. Unexpected. Unexpected on Hulu. Go yeah. watch it now. Check it out. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. I want it so bad. I want that statue. Some people would say like, oh, it's not about the awards. It's about the awards for me. No. Well, and- Emmy nominated. You, every Emmy year winning. you can give that like Emmy winning thirst trap. You know what I mean? Oh, I haven't Where it's, thought about oh, that. Oh, I have. Like, like you mean? just take a picture and it's like behind you. Or, Oops. I yeah. forgot about this. Or you're like- like pouring your coffee in one right. hand and you have the Emmy in the other and you're like, oh, what a night, am I right? Is it daytime Emmy? Or like- It is. Yeah. Yeah. That's still a thing. It is still a thing. It's a creative arts daytime Emmy. And you get to go to the award show. For $550 a ticket, you get to go to the award show. You have to pay I get to, to pay go? to lose to Disney. Poor Susan Lucci. <laughs> she paid how many years to get that award? I bet primetime acting Emmys you don't have to pay, but- for me. And no, I, Susan Lucci was daytime. But I'm sure they they paid for her, I'm sure. Are you going to... You have to go. I may, I might. Do you want to go fund me? <laughs> if you're listening to this. <laughs> if you care about um, the black women's yeah. health crisis currently going on. Seriously. Or HIV awareness, please pay for me. You <laughs> need to go. You have to, like, you have to have that moment of, like, I, yeah. I did this and I am here. I agree. Mm -hmm. There's that. Thank you for bringing that up. We, Andy, for some reason, hasn't really celebrated that on our show. Well, you're welcome. she already has an Emmy. I mean, God forbid there's a, <laughs> a host promoting another person's things and I'm achievements. So you're right about the, the selfies. Yeah, I'm going to take some. Like, it's in my bath or my shower with me. Yeah. yeah, we're at the gym. Well, for our live show, I definitely think that, which is May 9th. May Netflix 9th. Is a joke here at the Comedy Store, Belly Room. Get your tickets, eight o'clock. I'm excited about it. It's going to be fun. We have to, we have, we're going to come up with some really fun games and segments and all that stuff. But I definitely think you need to teach me the art of thirst trapping. Okay. I'm so bad at it. Not that I, it's not like a thing. Lighting. For me. It's really lighting. It and is. Getting yourself sweaty. Yeah. And just being like, uh, oops. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Right. Because um, we send each other. Thirst oh, traps. Yes, we do. And you'll hear more about that in the live show because there's some really good ones. Like, yeah, there are. It, I love, um, I love a message, motivation. I like. Well, as we we both enjoy someone who is thirst trapping and making themselves laugh. Yeah, they you giggle know? at themselves. Yeah. Like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing well, this. Can you believe they it? Put on outfits. Yes. Which, by the way, I have realized that I hate. But it's everywhere. It's no, but I know it is everywhere. The the who thought of this trash? Put put clothes on. That's going to be the content. No, forget Get about ready material. With me. Forget about saying anything clever or thinking something creative. Put your jeans on. Yeah. Put no. your socks on. Get ready with me's are the 
Jojo Siwa yeah. of like reels. I made one. I, I'm struggling on TikTok. I'll say something funny. I made one the other day. 15,000 people liked it in like was like 10 minutes. To get ready with you? I just did a get ready with me because I was putting for that wedding for a wedding. Yeah. Yeah. And everyone was like, give it to us, father. Yeah. But yeah. like, that was so done. That took nothing to uh -huh. do. Uh-huh. Anyway. I mean, that's what it is. It started our fascination, I think, with the trend of guys with big butts putting their jeans on and, oh, I can't get it over my huge butt. Oh, yeah. Those are my favorites still to this well, day. Well, speaking of, I got... You can't get your pants over your butt? I wish. <laughs> no, but I got like... I got hit on on my afternoon dog walk in my neighborhood, which here's... And I was telling Lan this before you got here. So I took my dog on a walk. Because I woke up at six to get ready yeah, for- Yeah, what time are we talking about? With this was like noon, oh. like, yeah. And got back from Sirius You Sirius woke up at XM. six, but the walk was at noon. No, no, no. Took her out this morning. Okay. And then I came back from Sirius XM. <laughs> got it, got it. Took her out so I could be here. Okay. So there's no accidents, whatever. And so Frida likes to pick up objects like seeds or sticks. Poop. Not poop, thank God. She's <laughs> not that dog. She is. That is not my daughter. Good. So she picks up this really big stick and it's really cute and she's walking around with it. And we're walking down my street in West Hollywood and these two guys walk past us and he goes, and one of them says, wow, she's got a really big stick there. Oh my God. And I go, <laughs> yeah. And he goes, does that run in the family? Oh my God. Does like, that run in the family? The big stick doesn't fall far from the tree. So in my head, I'm like, <laughs> You better believe it does. Fuck yeah, bro. Sequoia. It's a redwood. Ah! It's the biggest stick. <laughs> but out loud in real life, I was like, <laughs> I know. Walking. I was like, what do I say to that? I was thinking about this. Like, I when I'm walking the dog, because I got the I got my dog when I lived in New York, and everyone's walking their dog just to let it shit and go back upstairs. In LA, everyone thinks you're on a play date because no one has any jobs. Right. So I'm still trying to walk the dog just to let it shit and go back upstairs. But Every time I see one of my neighbors who does nothing, they're always like, well, they want to bring up something. And I always feel rude, but I feel like they're snapping me out of a mindset. I'm not in the chit chat mindset all mm -hmm. the time. And I definitely do the same thing. And you know what I thought? I just Be giggle like a little girl. Yeah. Nothing just wrong with being a girl. <laughs> yeah. But I, as a new dog dad, I was like, oh my God, this is great. I can pop in my AirPods and just like right. shut everyone out. No. They still talk they to you. They still talk to you. It doesn't matter. No. They still talk. I'm like, I um, I put them in to pretend I'm listening or on a phone call. Oh, I have nothing on. Yeah. There might be a song. There might be a, a, a podcast, but <sighs> normally it's just nothing. I really want to go deep about the kid, because I'm obsessed with how much I hate certain people who walk their dog and want to connect. <laughs> well, do you want to talk about it on the live no, no, show? No, no, Yeah, on the live the show. Live yeah, show yeah, we'll yeah. Do I don't that. want it for posterity. I love everybody in my neighborhood, yes. especially people in my building. Yes. Well, congrats on the <laughs> Emmy and- Thank you, Justin. I mean, we're really going to- More to come. You. Well, I- I want a shelf full. Yeah, you should. Yeah. I definitely want a shelf full. And I recently- had a moment with an Emmy Award winner myself um, over the weekend. Barney. I went and saw who? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Lamb Chop? No, oh, I wish. <laughs> um, I went and saw the Challengers movie. I saw it last night. What did you think? I want to buy a ticket right now and go right back. You want to see it again? I loved it. I know. I'm kind of debating if I want to see it again or oh, not. I want to live in that universe the rest of my life. Three words to describe how you felt afterwards invigorated mm. um inspired oh wet <laughs> <laughs> wind blown Ins invigorated wind blown and wet okay yeah i felt naughty <laughs> yes i felt validated seen yeah and i'm going to say wet wet like i felt <laughs> wet. like i just rode hard during the longest pickleball match it I, was it was good. That guy Josh O'Connor is could get it. I want to suck the dick right off his body. Wow. <laughs> and then go, yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh huh. And play Man Eater afterwards by Nelly Furtado. No. Oh. I mean, and that's what I love too is the I music. The music is so good, so good. The but yeah, he was. I was like, where have I seen this guy before? Prince Charles in the Crown. 
Oh right, right. Didn't even it's he's so so he's so new. He's so new, in, in so this role. fresh. Yeah, it's like a new twink just arrived to WeHo. The smile, yeah. The, the look in his eye, the, the blue eyes, <sighs> the body hair percentage, the leg action in that, the um, thighs. There was a lot of thigh. The butt in the sauna. Forget it. <laughs> the cum gutters in the sauna. Yeah, I mean it. It gave us everything. That one scene where they're like. I don't want to give anything away, but it's like, because there's no like sex. There's they don't they right. don't they don't show. It's not like this three way sex porn. It's just steamy because you're like, yeah. it's two guys and a girl, and you're like, okay, where's this gonna go? And then it goes places, and you're like, oh, okay. it's very authentic. Like, yeah, it, it's very real. It wasn't fake or no. pushed. I believed every second of their chemistry, mm -hmm. and I did, listen. I grew up, as you know, in Texas, yeah. in a youth group. That shit was going down. I had that exact fucking experience. I did not. You, mm. I did not grow up like that. And I, <laughs> you and were I, raised by good Christians. I, but I know, but I was like, I wish I had that. I wish I was like, uh -huh. I want to I want to turn the lights off and play I've Never Done This Before. We did that. We were, they were locked. <laughs> we, what is the point of a youth group lock in? I if know. you're not locking the teenagers in the church building for 24 hours to play hide and seek if you don't want them to have an above the titty, above the bra three way. Never had that. Oh, really bummed. And I love it. And that. then afterwards be like, Lord, I lift your name on her. <laughs> that one. Uh, yes. But um, I loved it. there was that one scene where they like start kissing mm. and then Zendaya backs away. And I was like, pop off, pop all the way off. Yeah. Ooh. I I was looking at it like I was. Um, like a little girl watching Miracle on 34th Street. Just Your Christmas back, is different. Just to bring it back to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, yeah. who I am going to defeat at the Emmys. <laughs> oh, you're gonna you're but, gonna <laughs> knock that turkey out of the sky. Yeah. And then, pff, also. Yeah. Um, <laughs> gobble gobble bitch. <laughs> but really, I was I, I was next to my friend who was with my friend from college, literally like my we don't say fag hag anymore, but she's my good girlfriend. Fruit from fly. Fruit, fruit fly. fly. Fruit fly. Um, but like, and I could tell she was looking at me like, Jesus Christ, like this is your dream. But I was like. <laughs> just sweating and eating. Yeah, but it was lovely. And I, I just loved it so much. I know. It was really, really fun. The music's sick. I didn't know Trent like, Reznor did the soundtrack. Yes, she did. It's sexy. It's yeah, a it sexy, is. like dirty underground basement yeah. disco. Like It is funny. In the middle of a scene, they'll be like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And then it's like, it's, it's, yeah. It's, they're just talking, yeah. you know? They're just talking I with like it. this like underlying The cues track. were odd and great. Uh, also, Zendaya showed up at my screening. I cannot believe that. Yeah. Totally happened. And it's Where were you? The Grove? I was at The Grove. God Friday God. night, 745. We had I we were in the very front row, which yeah. is very unheard of. We just I don't know why we got the tickets there. Is it Zendaya popping in? Just is she wearing like the like burka from Dune? What was she wearing? No, she was wearing a vest and pants. Oh, I love. She looked the stunning. Yeah. It's my third time seeing Zendaya in the wild. Wow, I want to see her. I talked to her twice. She what? introduced me to a little Richard. Wait, what do you mean? You, you, like, when did you meet her when you talked to her? I met her when I used to wait tables, like, back in the day. Where? What restaurant? Morrow's Restaurant in West Hollywood at Fred Siegel. What did she order? I don't remember what she ordered, but I remember what she drank. Uh. And I said, what can I get for you to drink? And she was like, I'll have a, a little Richard. And I was like, I don't know what that is. And she was like, it's diet. It's half. It's an Arnold Palmer, but it's. Uh. Shit, I hope I get it right. I think it's half Diet Coke, half lemonade. A lemonade. So not an oh diet coke and lemonade. Half diet Ew. coke, half lemonade. Yeah, and she got it, and she was like, "I love it." I like that she drank an orangine or an orangina, orangina. in Challengers because I love an orangina, and people always make fun of me for it. But I feel like orangina stock is going to go way up because she's sucking on one in Challengers. Yeah, but second time, sorry at the MTV Movie Awards, and oh. I was like, "Hey, That's good to see you again." She was like, "How how are you?" Then she walked down and and. For the to introduce the movie, and I was like, Zinzan, and she's like, Hi, and I was like, Oh my god, does she remember me or is it just being nice? But it was, I, I take it for the first part, she's a star, and she, I mean, seriously, on it, girl, like yeah. that is this generation's like movie star. It wasn't like some reality show, you right. know, it wasn't like, yeah, Sheena or she's whatever it. walks in, she's it, it, it was like Zendaya. Listen, I don't love a Bob on her necessarily in Challengers, but. I love anything she does, so God, not it, being critical. So I just don't good. love a bob. So good. Um, all right, well, let's get into some stories, shall okay, we? Let's do it. Um, oh, God. Billie Eilish. 
<sighs> face and vagina. Well, yeah. You know what? The kids are telling too much. Well, I imagine growing up in the public eye, being very famous when she was like, what, 17, 16. Mm -hmm. And then like, if you do have that sexual awakening, you, and you know, she's, that's a great way to say it. I want my face in a vagina. Well, yeah. And and for those of you who don't know, Billie Eilish <laughs> didn't go to college. <laughs> that's the, that's the, how the story leads. But she did go to the Grammys and Oscars yeah, multiple yeah, times. Yeah, she has two Oscars. Not the daytime Emmy. Billie Eilish, oh. call me when you win a creative arts daytime Emmy, bitch. <laughs> 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 what's her uh, what's her brother's name? Eunice. Phineas, no. <laughs> yeah. um, so she says she didn't go to college, but that did not stop her from her advanced pursuit of her passions. Billy says, I should have a PhD in masturbation, she told Rolling Stone. Eilish uh, espoused self-love after admitting that sex is one of her favorite ways to decompress. I think it's such a frowned upon thing to talk about, and I think that that should change. You ask me what I do to compress? That shit can really, really save you sometimes, just saying. So she listens to the podcast. That's great. <laughs> uh, she says she can't recommend it more to be real. Um, and then, the uh, okay, so she has a new album called Hit Me Hard and Soft, and there is a tie in the track, quote, Lunch, is partially about her first experience with a woman and when she, quote, realized I wanted my face in a vagina. There was so, I'm usually pretty cool to just follow along with whatever, but I'm still stuck at the beginning. So she didn't go to she college. She didn't go to college. <laughs> I which know. Which is fine. She's not even old enough for college, basically, but that's okay. Yeah. But I'm just, um, I wonder, masturbation is great for stress relief. Isn't that what they say? You're supposed to jack off 21 times a month. What? According to new scientific data. Where is this data? Daily Mail. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled the story. You also wrote the story. <laughs> so you can't take your I own advice. I was the study. <laughs> I was the I'm lab rat. actually going to do a uh, scientific study on myself, and it's 21 times a month, a day. That's yours? Did you ever jack off, like, on an airplane? What? No, no can, I can sit we go back? there and wait to <laughs> land. Oh. <laughs> Where, you ever, where's the weirdest place you've ever jerked at? Oh, my God. Um... In my car. <laughs> <laughs> when and where? Like, like, like to kill time or like while driving? No, to kill time. Okay. Well, it is weird because it was probably like 2002 or three. And so, yeah, I, I was doing um, poppers, regional theater. <laughs> <laughs> Close. <laughs> <laughs> Poppers Regional Theater. What's the difference? I wasn't drinking and driving. I was just popping and driving. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I was parked outside and I was like, you know, ah, it was You're running your summer. lines. Running your lines for Tevye. Running my lines. I was going to be Tevye and Fiddler, so I had and to jerk it. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was Annie, get your gun, so I had to fuck myself. Yeah. <laughs> Annie, yank your gun. Um, but while I was doing it, a bear walked across my car. Excuse like a full, me, like a gay a, guy. No, no, no. A oh, full, like the animal, an like animal. the real, Shit. like God created the bear, like animal. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I was like, Where were you again? What state? Tahoe, Lake Tahoe. Okay. Yeah, but it was one of those like moments. Did where, you come? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Just immediately. Yeah, yeah. But wow. it was kind of like one of those like coming into my own. Self, like yes. you like were having I, your Billie Eilish moment, yeah, like it was my Native American, like jerk off spirit animal it's vision quest. Yeah, yes, very appropriative of you. <laughs> he will have the sex drive of the grizzly bear. <laughs> oh my god, that's so interesting. That's, yeah, wow, I don't think I've ever seen an animal while stroking. Yeah, who has? Except for my me? dog, who looks at me like <laughs> again. <laughs> No, your dog has we like- We were just doing this. <laughs> your dog has the chalk on the chalkboard, crosses it for a five. <laughs> he's, got, he's got two more turns this month. Oh, um, God. Well, I, I I am proud of Billy. Good for Billy. Beat your meat. Do it. Do I don't it. know. I just, I, I, is everything kind of like a shock value now where we have to say the weirdest things well, to- to these kids? Yeah. This is, we're, we're looking at this because we're cynical because when I was 17- I'm not I, cynical. Right, me either. <laughs> But like, I forget that this is new for them. Like Jojo Siwa, like she, of course she's saying well, all this no, no, because no, no. they. No, 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 I'm gonna stop is, you right there. 
Oh, I think it's hilarious. Billie Eilish, JoJo Siwa. Obviously, okay. but they're both like, they, they're not 50 year old guys. Their brains have stopped. I think well, they haven't even formed yet. I think this is like a, yeah, social media has turned the sponges. They're warped. They're warped. They're delusional. Yeah. Like, yeah. like my favorite thing. I enjoy it though. Well, I went from like jerking off in a car once seeing a bear to looking at JoJo Siwa try to sing in her car. Which is girl everything screaming just uh, if you know all that money you know uh, I could I could teach a, vo a voice lesson you know absolutely everyone's an expert yeah. everyone's get ready with me hey guys y'all want to learn how to make salad let me tell you about your shadow self do uh, the shadow <laughs> self journal yeah here's five things to learn about the moon mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah it's everyone's an expert on something oh look at it oh no look at it. Oh. You are still a traitor. You know what? I want the fifty thousand dollars veneers that she bought. Oh, yeah, did you hear about that? The veneers. You are still, you are still a traitor. Yeah, Bitch, the traitor. confidence. The confidence. The confidence. Confidence is a bitch. I mean. Yelling. Confidence is a bitch. I should have known. I mean, better. but the song is in my head. But I, I do love that no. the the who was the girl, the original girl? Uh, Hashish. No, what? What's her name? <laughs> Cassis. <laughs> no, it was uh, Kim. Kim. Yeah, Kim. Something. Kim Fields. Something it like was 2D from Facts of Life. Karma's a bitch. And it's just all over TikTok. Bro. Brit. What Brit is Smith. it? Brit Smith. Hashish. Brit Smith. <laughs> I I want to call her Kim. <laughs> just Kim. Britt Smith is like killing it now. But um, we were talking about the Challengers movie, but this is the reverse Challengers movie that uh, is making the headlines. Noah Cyrus, Tish Cyrus, and Dominic Purcell. The threesome we never needed. I need clarification on this story. This story, okay, it's as follows. Noah Cyrus has a not safe for work message about alleged drama with mom Tish and Dominic Purcell. Um, also, I love that sweater on Dominic, by the way. Um, Gay pride. Yep. It's the right around the corner. Um, Girl, so, she, Dominic looks like she had a chemical peel recently, too. I think she's just peeling. Girl. It's, it's... Mama. Dominic went... SPF, bitch. Dominic looks like that avocado I get from Trader Joe's oh, after, like, three days. Oh, my God. Uh, and you cut into it, and it's just like... Uh, like, it looks like a mummy rotting. True deaf jerky. Yeah. Like, yeah. it, like... It, like, you jerky. cut an avocado open, and scarab beetles come out. <laughs> Um, okay, but I've heard people literally do this on podcasts, and and I still don't get it. So what? You're t the whole situation. So you're telling me yeah. that no Noah Cyrus is walking around the world with a boyfriend, right? And then her mom starts dating that guy. Mm -hmm. That's basically the gist. Yeah. Well, they like yes. That in is a nutshell. So fuck. That's why. No offense. That's why people out here on the the Hollywood elite get a bad name behavior like this. This is bad. It's pretty bizarre. What would and you say if your mom stole your man? <laughs> what would you say? What is the NSFW? What's your not safe for work message to your mom? You're, just picture it. You're living your Noah Cyrus piercing tattoo, sober Shaved recovery, eyebrows. Yeah. no eyebrows life. Your mom steals your man. Go. Karma's a bitch. Yeah, I'm like, what would I say? I'm like, you know what, mom? You can have him. Like, I wouldn't, right. you know, what do you, what? Well, what did she say? Yeah. What is her NSFW? Well, I'm glad you asked because Noah. I think get fucked. She, well, she said, she responded to speculation surrounding her alleged previous romance with her mom, Tish Cyrus's husband, Dominic Purcell, after a fan commented oh. on her IG post on Friday. She says, dear Lord, when I get to heaven, please let me bring my man Noah captioned a series of photos from Coachella Weekend, quoting lyrics to Lana Del Rey's song, Young and Beautiful. One social media user decided to reference the alleged love triangle oh. between Noah Tish and Purcell, commenting, like that guy you and your mom both have sexy time with? Oh. Noah was pissed, and she Sick said burn. no, and left this comment. I'm so sorry, but will you please just choke on the fattest cock just for a little bit? Great, thanks. <laughs> Jesus, the children are unhinged. I, again, if your mom steals mm -hmm. your man, that 
comment is appropriate to anyone who comes to you. Like that's all I would say for the rest of my life. Yeah. To anyone. Even if they give me a compliment, suck on the fattest cock and die. But also, <laughs> Noah is I, I feel so bad for her. I I she's fine. Oh. She's fine. I think she's fine. <laughs> I think she's okay. She's a country singer, right? It's like country indie folk. She's really cool. I like yes, her. I love her. I just think it's so like it makes yeah. me really hate the mom. But here's what I'm thinking: a cover of Cheryl Crow. Are you mom enough to steal my man? By the way, favorite song off that album. God, I feel Good like hell tonight. Yes. Are you mom enough, enough to steal, steal my man? man? Uh, Lie to uh, me. Oh wait, you, you already, already did, did bitch. <laughs> Tish. Tish. <laughs> um, but oh, I do. Tish School of the Arts. Tish School uh, of the fucking scam. It's very, like, I wasn't expecting that from Tish. I expect it from Dina Lohan, but not Tish. Not even, yes, exactly. Not even, I, Dominic is hot. <laughs> Dominic's really hot. I'd break that prison. Prison. I yeah. would get him out of the clink. But like. I would dig in his, what's it called? Um, Shawshank Redemption. Oh, God. <laughs> I'd climb through that porta potty. Jesus. I'd take the green mile. Oh. <laughs> the beige oh. mile. <laughs> the pink mile. <laughs> but wait, she was saying, like, she just said choke on the fattest cock, which that's I'm just. A, that's a nice thing to say, I think. Well, that's yeah. That's a compliment. That's like wishing someone well. But how do you know? How do you know, like, what if she just wants to bury her face in Vagine like Billie Eilish? Mm. What? Why does it have to... Is she fat shaming penis now? Please what if, don't come for my fat cock, Noah. <laughs> don't come... That's not the way you should say it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. That also should be... <laughs> that also should be on a shirt. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't sound good either. <laughs> No! No! Huh, okay, well, get ready for this because apparently Kanye is now doing porn or he's considering it. Um, I saw this. This this is just very, very bizarre. Kanye West uh, said over the weekend that he wants to consider doing Yeezy porn. Um, he says he has a one famous OnlyFans star ready to talk turkey, and that is Girthmaster. Do you know who Girthmaster is? Pick a better name, girl. It's very bad. <laughs> I mean, it says what it's selling. Well, it's Girthmaster with two R's. Girthmaster. Uh, no, Girthmaster. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Is she a bear? That's him. Guys like who look like that always have a deformed cock. I think that's what it is, because I did my research. Look being, at the look in his eyes. He's like, I don't need anything else in life but this. Yeah. He looks like he... What was your research? <laughs> uh, well, I did my research being a hit pop culture, pop culture podcast, yeah. doing the research on Girth Masters. So I, what did I do? I took it to X and yeah, on the media. Well, describe it to me. I haven't seen it. Well, Girth Master says he's holding a wine bottle next to it. Uh-huh. And... For scale. He's straight. Mm -hmm. So it's just him, these poor women. These poor women, like it's. Uh, they're what do you crying. mean? Because it hurts. Well, they're, it's just like it's so. Like, it's just. But aren't they acting? Because I don't vaginas, know. Like elastic as fuck. No, this wasn't the. Mm. Why in the butt? Well, it's like it's a lot. No, it's not in the butt. Oh, it's in the mouth. In the mouth. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, there's only so many options. And it looks. <laughs> I figured it would go in the vagina. Well, he has those two. Why and, do all that shit if you're straight? Well, Put it in the vagina. But it's like it's just it's just like oh I didn't I shouldn't I shouldn't see. It's like one of those like snake swallowing cobras. I do not like seeing girls doing that. And, and they're those. just like <laughs> and there's just snot and <laughs> phlegm and you're like oh my god. It's it reminds me of youth group all over again. Right. <laughs> Uh, the lock-ins <laughs> as the deer panteth for the water <laughs> our god is awesome. he chokes it's on. not good so girth master said that kanye west hit song hey mama inspired him what is the world batshit crazy because he wants to buy his mama house Okay, dream big, okay? Just like your dong. He says his mom has worked her whole life to support her children, and now Girthmaster wants to pay her back by helping her retire, and a collab with Kanye could help. 
What collab? This anti-Semitism collab? I don't Jesus know. Christ. Look, speaking oh. of his mom, we asked Earthmaster how she feels about her son doing porn. And based on the clip, sounds like she's totally on board. Yeah, bitch, because it's going to get you a house. Girthmaster is blowing up online after revealing he makes between 40000 and 80000 a month on Holy OnlyFans. Holy shit. With fans rushing to Pornhub to see his wine bottle size member. Now, wine bottle. <gasps> oh, my bottle. God, I feel seen. <laughs> I'm one of them. <laughs> Do you... I don't drink alcohol, but when I did, <laughs> I remember Barefoot, wine bottles. Wet. I remember them being pretty big. What, wine bottles? Yeah. yeah. What, you want to see it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Can I see it? Yeah. I'm giving you consent to show me this. <laughs> Thank you. We'll have a waiver. Wow. Are we just going to, like, break the comedy store's internet if we're just Googling Girthmaster's dong? I mean... If you pull up that guy sitting on the edge of the bed with the mason, with the mason jar, you. oh, God, the you. worst. It's my podcast. We're Googling shit. Wow. I joined Twitter or X and um, I have like 50 followers. I'm excited about it. Okay, here he is. And then you go to media. Yeah, click on Gert media. 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 Wait. Uh, wait. Yeah. He the should change. He should do meaty dash what? Uh. Media. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, see, it's going in somebody's butt. Oh. Uh. It's kind of weird, right? Ay, 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 ay. That's not a wine bottle. That's like. Well. I don't know what I mean, that is. I mean, look at that poor girl. I don't know what that is, but they're not selling it I at mean, my could local. You, just, you could literally replace that with a Chipotle burrito. Oh, I see. That's the wine bottle to the left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought someone was trying to sell me a chode, you uh, know, a cupcake chode <laughs> or a nice Shiraz. Uh, 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 <laughs> <Shaftraz>. Um <laughs> Okay. So I'm looking. Again, my eyes are. One step behind my brain at this point. I'm looking at it now. It is giving... <laughs> it. What is... Girth. Okay. <sighs> it looks kind of small. <laughs> Thank you. What does that say about us? What does that say about us? To be honest... I I'm not... Just, I'm in the words honest. of Shania Twain, that don't impress me much. They don't. I'm like, good for you. And you know what? I think Faker. everything's an illusion. This could be a, an airplane wine bottle. Thank you. Bottle. It's not that... Good for him. You know what, guys? Save your money. Save your money. Yeah. There's plenty of, of... Save your money and get yourself a ticket to our show. Yeah. We'll show you live. <laughs> we'll whip, we'll, Wait, whip what? No. We'll whip uh, our dicks out and show you really show you what we're working with. Uh, <laughs> please. <laughs> please. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm like, okay. I'm not really that impressed with it, but I don't need I don't need Kanye porn. I don't need Girth Master. I, it's it's a lot. I need any more Kanye. He's parading that wife around. You know, Poor thing, just wearing a pillow, freezing. <laughs> God, that's all pillow. she is. Just that's all she wears. But you know what? Uh, I want to talk about Quavo. Who? Jose Quavo. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's a rapper named Quavo. Quavo sounds like a math class. It does. Which I'm not going to. Or take. or like a fun science app. Yes. Or Are like you guys someone... on Quavo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we chatted on Quavo. It didn't work out. Yeah. Or like a like a new. Um, hallucinogenic drug. Quavo. Yeah, that's sinister. The sinister Quavo. It's like bath salts, but like fun. Now, this guy looks sweet. Is yeah. He, what's his deal? Quavo looks very nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he had a show over the weekend that was completely empty. Um, so what? it's actually an interesting story. So um, he performed for a mere handful of fans at a recent concert. Sounds like my Dynasty typewriter show in December. Oh. <gasps> Oh, really? <laughs> Keep going. Okay. Sparking well conspiracy <laughs> theory that his music rival was responsible for the poor turnout. The former member of the massive hip-hop group Migos also has a slew of solo hits, but it seems that he wasn't enough to coax punters out to a headlining show at Hartford Healthcare Amphitheater in Bridgeport, Connecticut over the weekend. The venue has an audience capacity of more than 5,700, but in footage from the show, it seemed an audience of barely more than a few hundred had turned up. Those who did front up crowded together at the front of the stage with the rest of the venue virtually empty. So here's the picture. I mean, this is the venue. Okay. But it's called the Healthcare Amphitheater. Well, I'm not have... going to see a former member of Migos at a cancer ward. Well, I mean, it's not, they always have like weird names like that. There's right. like, you know, Kellogg's and I mean, what do we have? Like, Center we have the, sure. no, yeah. we have, what is it? Bitcoin or what is it? It's crypto. Crypto. Yeah, crypto Get out of here. Cavern. I'll go to like a Dr. Pepper you're right, you know, you're right. convention. Yeah. But um, yeah, so this is everybody at the concert. Oh. So everyone's saying like, what happened? 
Well, there's a far-fetched rumor that's circulating the internet that Chris Brown, Quavo's arch nemesis, had bought all the tickets to the show, mm. leaving the star to think he'd be stepping on the stage to a huge crowd. So people were saying Chris Brown's evil for this. Apparently he bought all the tickets, so the crowd was empty. So everyone's saying that's, you know, pure savagery, all that. Um, but here's what I'm going to do. If I have empty seats at any of my shows, uh huh, you're gonna say that. I'm gonna say Chris <laughs> Brown bought all the tickets. I'm gonna blame Jeff Lewis. I'll say like Jeff Lewis. Yeah, is a savage. Someone is trying to make me look bad. Yeah, I'll blame who? I'll blame you. But here's the part of the show where we get to plug our dates. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, go May 9th. Um, and it's actually gonna be really hard to get tickets because no one wants to sabotage us. We're perfect. Well, no, we have our show May 9th. Yeah, for Netflix's joke, and then I have May 10th at the Bourbon Room. Keep I've going. got June. You have May 10th at Bourbon Room? Yeah. Fun. Yeah, which that's has to be favorite... Peluso. Fun. That's my I favorite it. venue. It's really fun. Uh, June 15th, I'll be in Austin, Texas at the Vulcan, vulcanatx.com, and July 11th, San Diego. And if Where there's empty seats Diego? there, I'll blame Chris Brown and I'll be okay. Yeah, exactly. What was that? Where are you in San Diego? The mic drop. Okay. Yeah, mic drop. Um, all right. I'm performing at the Girth Master Arena uh -huh. um, <laughs> in Tucson. Sponsored by Barefoot Wine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, by Chode.com. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, you got me May 9th with Justin Martindale uh -huh. right here at the Comedy mm -hmm. Store in the... Um, belly room. Vagina room. Well, the face in the belly room. Okay. <laughs> face in whole room. Uh, and then after that, you have a newly added date. Uh, and this is an undercover show, a little off the record show at the Elysian on uh, June twelfth. I'm yeah. just going to do no script and some story bullet no points. Pants. No, yeah. no girth, no girth, <laughs> skinny. Oh. Um, and then Austin, Texas, as well. Right after you, June twentieth, Creek and Cave, D uh, Dallas. Um, what am I saying? June twenty third, and the New York City, June twenty seventh, and then Nashville, July thirteenth, and then Province Town, August sixteenth. I'm going to be in Promise Town as well. I need to write material. What date are you there? I'll be in August. So like Carnival. Me too. Yeah. Uh, August 16th. Carnival. I, I think we're there like the 20th. Girl, I'll be there. You're 16th through the what? I don't know yet. I think I'm at the at the Pilgrim Inn. Fuck yeah. Are you performing anywhere? Yeah, there. Where? At there. the Pilgrim Inn? Yeah. But I'm also doing research for a project that I'm working on. Um, a documentary about the dick doc. <laughs> I should. That would be great. Oh. Wow. <sighs> Anyways, check us all out wherever you That'll can. That'll be so fun. Yeah, we'll be there. I'm very excited. I'll see even the dungeon of well, it's just purgatory. So, it's so funny too because the theme this year is Renaissance riot or something. Oh, and it's wrong. What do you mean? Because they're doing like this whole Beyonce like, Renaissance. No, like it's like Marie Antoinette Ew. and stuff. I'm like that's like the theater gay. I'm like that is not the Renaissance, right? That's the Reformation. Exactly. I don't also guys. I don't really do a theme. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear a powdered wig with humidity. Sorry. <sighs> no. Or, I mean, I've worn worse, but yeah, I would wear a hoop skirt, but that's not Renaissance either. No, not at all. But speaking of humidity and tragedy, Florida uh, couple. Arrested for crudely faking one million dollar lottery ticket. My heart goes out. Does it? I used to forge my report cards in second grade. But that's second grade. <laughs> this is like real life, like adults. So Kira Enders and her boyfriend Dakota Jones, Kira and Dakota, I already hate them, are accused of trying to pass off fraudulently altered tickets as million dollar winners. So they claim they won the state lottery, but instead of the million dollar prize, they only want a free trip to jail. After being accused of crudely, crudely making a fake winning ticket. I want to see it. I, I do too. They were arrested and charged with forgery, alteration of a lottery ticket with intent to defraud, passing a forged, altered state lottery ticket, and oh larceny grand God. theft of $100,000, according to the Escamba County Sheriff's <laughs> Office. They said that they taped together a $50 scratch-off ticket as the big winner for the 500x the cash game last month. Per Fox, the two separate tickets have been torn horizontally and then laminated together. <laughs> Get yourself a lesbian, non-binary hacker with no with Courtney Cox scream two bangs to fraudulently yes. make you something correctly. Don't laminate it yourself. Way, it's scream three. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I get ejected. You fire me from May 9th at the belly room. 
<laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I, I, I forgot because the girth of my cock right. took my brain for a second. That's why all that blood is just going down there. Um, yeah. So <laughs> I was taking a nap. They turned in the ticket on March 1st, but lottery officials spotted this as, as a fake almost immediately. I don't think so, this is going to be a made-for-TV movie type of situation because it was clear to the lottery officials and obviously clear to us <laughs> that she had taken two tickets with different, you know, one side had one serial number, the other side had the other serial number on it. Especially whenever you pretend like you've won a million dollars, they're going to take a look at this ticket. What yeah. were they high on? Well, who? The guy they're interviewing? He's like, oh, uh, well, uh, uh, well, uh. <laughs> the two were arrested after she reportedly asked for an update on the prize money and was asked to meet with a special agent at the lottery office. After they were separated for interviews, the two allegedly told two different stories for how they came into possession of the ticket. God. So she said, I won this ticket at a Win Dixie. And claiming that it got it got wet. wet. It saw challengers. She and saw it got challengers wet. and ruin and she ripped the ticket when trying to scratch it. And then she said, What? They don't go together? Uh, oh, I love that. I would play dumb too. He said that he got he found the two pieces already ripped on the ground. Uh mm hmm It looks jank. That's what they uh, Wow, so they that'll said. get you thrown in jail? I feel like people probably do that all the time. Well, I'll do, I want to do that today. Look, I want a million dollars. Give it to me. See if it'll work. <laughs> that stuff would not work here in California. The only place that it would work is Florida. I like that song, actually. It's the only one. Yeah, I didn't realize that Emily Stone wrote that song. Emma Stone. Her real name is Emily, and she wants to go by Emily now, not Emma. I'm out. I know. Wait, really? Yeah, I just read that. Not Emily Stone. Because Emma Stone, Emily Stone was taken in SAG, so she had to go by Emma, but now she's sick of it and she wants to go by Emily. Emma, just stay. But I no. didn't know she was she wrote that song. She wrote Florida. But why? When you get rich, you gotta you're bored. I don't know. Did something happen to her in Florida? I haven't studied the lyrics to that song. I don't think anyone has. It all sounds the same. Like I definitely when I was listening to it on a hike, I was like, wow, this is a good song. And then I thought, Florida doesn't deserve that good of a song. No well, offense. I always get hate when I rag on Florida. My sister lives there. I love visiting her in Florida. Yeah, we love Florida. Yeah. But Emily, no. I don't live there. Okay, well, oh, fashion. Here we go. The Met Gala is next week. Yeah. People are gearing up. And this new trend is coming into fruition. Which Thank God. I, 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 I'm kind of here for. Me too. The peace-stained denim designer jeans are here. And the question on everyone's mind is, why would anyone wear this? Um, okay. I'm 46 years old. Mm -hmm. I get it. <laughs> it. So does Jeff Lewis. <laughs> it doesn't stop. Like yeah. you just keep being. I, I, mm, I, I get that. I was recently introduced to the term milking. Jilking? <laughs> What's jilk? Is it it's when you stroke it to the side. Keep going. <laughs> Is this one of your 21, the 21 days of John Hill? It's what I'm going to do. Sponsored on, on Freeform? Here at the belly room. I'm going to joke it. Joking? Joking. It starts jelking. Jelking. Yeah, J E L K I N. Don't you read Urban Dictionary all the time like no. me? When you're pooping, what do you read? Jesus. Bidet.com. That's what I go. It's my favorite. Um, joking. But, but this denim design yeah. um, was. Wait, wait. The unorthodox Jordan Luca jeans, which debuted in the fall winter of 2023, feature a dark stain in the groin area of the pants, and critics say it appears like the wear has wet themselves. Mm. The jeans by the British Italian menswear brand are now sold out online. Ooh, a lighter wash is on sale for $608. Oh my God. Originally $811, but the images on the internet are forever. Hmm. Do you ever see that friend of yours, though, who's wearing khaki pants and they go to the bathroom and there's just the one P dot? Mm -hmm. And I always want to say, I see that you just pissed. But you can also, I, for a while there, listen, I have a great prostate. I'm Congratulations. I'm, yeah, thank you. I've worked really hard to work on my Kegels. <laughs> yeah. Um, but sometimes, like Howard Stern talks about this, like put a little like toilet paper in like a modesty pad in between your... Um, urethra in your underwear so that it won't leak through. Did you ever do that? I did when I had gonorrhea once. <laughs> you know where I got it? Uh, wait, hold on, let me guess. Um, uh, Crack Axle Canyon. No, you you would think, but you already mentioned it. You already mentioned the location earlier. Noah Cyrus's mom's house? Nope. <laughs> well, at Tish. I got it at Tish's. 
Where'd you get that? Tish. Tish. I got it at Tish. <laughs> Where'd uh, you get that adorable case of syphilis? P Town. Oh, God. The doc, uh, the, uh, the well, you've got to take that doxy prep, which I've never taken. The dick doxy prep? The dick doxy prep. I've never taken it, but I know you can take it before. For those of you who don't know what that is, when you go on a gay vacation like Provincetown, you take this medication so you, so you don't catch any of that shit at the dick doc. I don't need it. I don't either. I I'm was not... young and stupid, and I and I walked in. I walked down there in the middle of the night. I've to never check... been to it. Oh, well, I'll probably see you. Be like, John, go to bed. I'm afraid of... Yes, you should be. The light, if I were to it, see, there's no the, lighting. It's shadow people. I, it's shadow people under a dock. Knee and, trolls. That's what we used to call them when I was a bartender because it's knee trolls. They just walk around on their knees and they'll yeah. just suck anything. <laughs> and but when you see them in the light, they don't. It's not somebody you'd want to do that. But, but it's, next <laughs> time, this was before iPhones. Like before the the flashlight on the iPhone. Now I want to just set the flashlight and have them go <laughs> and just scurry. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. Ursula's people in her cave. Oh yeah, I love yeah. the like cave. Plant Poor unfortunate people. souls mm -hmm. sucking you off. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, gumming you out. <laughs> oh God, it was yeah. And I went back home and I was like, "Ow, this really hurts." Oh. And I put I did the modest pouch. I've in between. never had that it's not i i don't recommend it it's I'll not try it okay well get ready for that shot in your leg afterwards because <sighs> it hurts okay. and i gimped down santa monica boulevard after the shot they're like you sure you don't have someone to pick you up and i was like i got this it's just oh. a shot hobbling oh no hobbling after gonorrhea shots god my mom thanks mom happy mother's day thanks tish <laughs> she's my mom's gonna be like you're getting very personal on the podcast. Is this a Mother's Day special? No. Oh. But <laughs> it's Tish. We're talking about Tish. Mother. Good, great mothers. I know. That that will be. We she'll we'll I wonder do if Noah will send Tish on Mother's Day. Probably, I would say like a cookie bouquet in the shape of dicks. Uh-huh. Or like a Molotov cocktail made of wine from the Girth Master. Yes. Okay. But it's like Doritos flavored vodka. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well. I just got Here's really another hungry. mom, huh? I just got really hungry. For what, Doritos? Um, Girth Master. Girth Master. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mother's Day's right around the corner, and this mother was informed by her toddler that she hears monsters in her bedroom. So the mom went to go check out what all the commotion was and discovered over 50,000 bees oh, in the wall. <sighs> Blumhouse, watch out or Bloom House, if it's bees. So this story, um, first of all, the title, or the, the story goes as this, the toddler's persistence about monsters in her bedroom led to an unbelievable discovery in the family's, wait for it, 100-year-old farmhouse. What do you expect, girl? What do you expect? Like, that's the best case scenario. Bees. bees. You're, you're Demons. crossing your fingers for bees. Demons are in the basement. Yeah. Ghosts. Ghosts. No. In the bathroom. Absolutely. So this woman who on TikTok tried to reassure the oldest of her three kids when she first started reporting there were monsters in her room. She was saying she heard monsters in her room, in her bedroom wall, but we'd been watching Monsters, Inc. No, bitch. Nice try. Believe children when they mm, Believe you. children. She was a little speech delayed, so when she tried explaining it, we thought she meant there were monsters in her closet. To reassure her, she went to her husband and tried everything. We told her nobody's in the closet. We made jokes about fighting the monster. We gave her a spray bottle full of water. That was her monster spray. Oh. Get these kids out of this haunted house. Oh, my God. Then the toddler started to have night terrors. Then Ashley was like, she was just freaking out. She had to stay in our room, and she kept saying there were monsters. We thought in part that she was experiencing little regression since I just had a baby in February and was pregnant and tired before that. Okay, Ashley, Blame sure, it's about victim. you. Yeah. Then a few weeks ago, Ashley and her husband noticed a few bees entering their attic. Since they live in a 100-year-old farmhouse... The... They decided to get ahead and call a pest control company. Once they were informed they were honeybees, they had to take a different approach. Okay. Is this because, like, people are like, don't ever touch or kill a bee because you're, like, basically going to end humanity? Because, like, if it were me, no offense, I would get a flamethrower mm -hmm. and go... Yeah. But... Did they, they weren't allowed to kill them, huh? Well, I don't they know had to get, like... They had to hire that girl from Texas to come relocate the queen. I love her. I love her, too. That bitch can relocate any queen. I know. She can relocate my... Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's a queen relocator. Yeah. And she's like, here we have, like, that's, can that girl please make a TikTok of that video? She's like, this family was living in a hundred year old farmhouse. What could go wrong? 
First, I heard a humming sound, which could have been demons. <laughs> but when I lifted this old baseboard, I found out it was just the bees. Lo and behold, it was bees. And at first, the mom thought that her daughter was a lying little bitch. <laughs> and she didn't believe one word that she said. And then she blamed her neurodivergence. Uh, and then she realized that she was just actually the bitch. And that there were 50,000 bees. And I know there are 50,000 bees because I counted each and every single one myself. And once I relocated the queen, which is not the mom, she's not the queen of this house. <laughs> I found her and I used an old hair clip that I once used, <laughs> that I found in my car, clipped the queen, relocated her, and now the bees are safe. The and the house is still haunted because it was actually built on an Indian burial yeah. mound. <laughs> And if you would like to see the queen, you can find it at its new location, which it lives underneath the chode of Girthmaster on X. He's currently showing it and with Tilda Swinton in a cage in a museum somewhere. <laughs> wow. Uh, beekeeper theater. Am I right? Uh, but how... I want to go watch some more of those videos. How stupid to buy... Well, <laughs> the house looked kind of cute. Here's the thing. I would think it was already haunted sure. if I saw a couple bees. I Because I immediately go Amityville Horror. I hate bugs. There was a moth in my closet. I moved. Like, I can't. <laughs> I a fly. packed up everything. Fly, and yeah. Moved. I can I do... I can do, like, a moth. We leave our windows open at night. So Moth's it's like, we'll get... your cute sweaters, though. Bees will sting you. I, I've been stung by one thing, and that was a wasp. And I it, was stung by a scorpion. I stepped on a... There, listen, for those people listening, people never believe that no in South believes. Texas where we grew up, there are scorpions yeah. everywhere. They're scorpions everywhere. Little bastards. They're Shitheads. orange and brown. Orange and brown. They and they hurt. have babies on their backs. Ew. Sick. I saw one in the toilet. I got stung on Easter. I stepped on one. That was a sign. <laughs> she I goes. had one in my shower once. I was taking a shower and it was right by my foot going... Uh-uh. Yep. What did you do? Got out of the bath and drowned it. <laughs> like... Put it down the drain. Um, you're so Kids inhumane. today are like, Mom, I can't go to school tomorrow. Why? There was a scorpion in my bathtub. It was like, traumatic. Ugh, get over it. Grow up, kids. All right. You killed it like that senator killed her dog. Wait, what was that all about? Oh, don't worry about it. Okay. Horrible. I, I'm sure, but like wrote it in a book? Or governor. Mayor. She was, I don't know what she was, but she was terrible. Well, she's trash. South Dakota. Speaking of trash, NASA confirms <laughs> mystery object that crashed through the roof of where? Florida home came from a space station. Uh, I mean, wait, can we go back Did up? they just flush the toilet? I don't know. What's, you know who needs to put that next to his? I'd like to see the scale. Mm-hmm. What's think the thing on the right? That is a... Chode. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like a Red Bull can. <laughs> it does, though. All right, NASA confirmed Monday that a mystery object that crashed through the roof of a Florida home last month was a chunk of space junk um, discarded at the International Space Station. A chunk of junk? A, ch a chunk of junk. How do they know? It is That is a lie. This is propaganda. It is. I, I think you're right. But the space agency said it was a metal... It was metal... Okay, so it was a oh. metal support used to mount old batteries on a cargo pallet for disposal. It was jettisoned from the space station in 21, and the load was expected to eventually fully burn up onto the entry into the Earth's atmosphere, but one piece survived. The chunk of metal weighed 1.6 pounds. Uh, so this guy said that he was on vacation when his son told him what had happened. The guy came home to early check on the house, finding the object had ripped through his ceiling mm. and torn up the flooring, releasing 50,000 bees, uh. <laughs> swarming Florida. He says, I was shaking. I was completely in disbelief. What are the chances of something landing on my house with such force to cause so much damage? I'm super grateful that nobody got hurt. Well, good. Um, You know what? It's not space junk unless it's like poop. Right. That's what I want. I could see Disney or Pixar or whatever making a story about this little piece of junk. Oh. You know, falling from the, the space The brave little station. space junk. Yeah, and Aww. it lands in Florida and it rips somebody's house up. And, and he it... lost all of his friends entering the atmosphere except yeah. for him. And he's burnt, but he's going to get some skin grafts. And, um, and he's so used to the world up there. And then he comes down here and he's a stranger. Yes. Has to be reintroduced to like... And, and he has to find a purpose. Because mm -hmm. he used to hold shit together. But now he can't. But now he holds this family together. I always cry at Pixar movies. <laughs> Me too. 
can't have a mom. No. Can't have a mom. No, no, no. He cannot have a mom. Yeah. His mom is on the space station. His mom <gasps> is the oxygen tank. She can't leave. Does the space junk get home? Does it leave Florida and go back home? It finds a way to communicate with her through NASA, through Houston, because they go to Houston yeah. after Florida. Yeah. They take him to Houston because so, they can't do it in Florida. They only have no. internet in Houston. Absolutely. And they Wi-Fi up to the space station. He says, Mommy, it's good. I'm here. I'm going to stay down here, and I'm going to hold together um, this family who needs me. But then the family... And then the mom fucks Dominic Purcell. <laughs> Florida! She's up there at the space station. She's like... <laughs> Houston, we can't hear you. What was that? One more time? <laughs> We're losing her. No, we have full... She has she's, full signal. She's up there grape, grapefruiting Dominic. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm actually... Uh, hey, Chunky, we can't reach your mom. It looks like she's um, neck deep on Dominic Purcell, uh, fresh off his stint with Tish, <laughs> who just gave him a smattering of chlamydia. <laughs> no! Uh, uh, this is fun. I think, Disney, if you're listening, <laughs> I mean, get, we're getting Emmys. We're all getting Emmys. The Brave Little Space Junk yeah. coming to theaters... Uh, voiced by Blue Ivy, who is now going to be, who is now playing uh, Oscar winning song by Noah Cyrus. Yes. Oh, God, it all comes together, doesn't yeah. it? The space. Between. Did you hear about Blue Ivy playing Simba's daughter? Yes, she needs more money in her um, a trust fund. Where were you at nine or 11? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <God>. Great <laughs> fruiting, Dominic. She is just like, like on tour with her mom now, like. Yes. The voice of Simba's child. Child, child labor. I'm going to call mean, the services. Seriously. Yeah. Whatever. She needs a break. She needs <sighs> to go to. She needs to go to recess. She needs to. Yeah. Stay in school. Play tetherball. But you know what? I'm here for Blue Ivy. Me too. Get it. I know. Um, me. Be my speaking friend. of music, John Bon Jovi reveals he hasn't been a saint in his marriage to Dorothea Hurley. <sighs> um, John Bon Jovi recently opened up about his enduring 34-year marriage to Dorothea Hurley, shedding light on past speculation regarding infidelity, notably referenced in his 1993 song, Bed of Roses. Oh, that was what that was about? I... Bed of Roses. I mean, this is, file this under, I'm not surprised, I guess. I, I guess. This he, is a rock star who's, you know, in videos, inserting himself into cars. Yeah. You know, humping them. Yeah. I would assume he probably fucked around a little well, bit. Well, he says it's about... He looks like Susie Orman now. He is Susie Orman. It's about never lying about having been a saint, but not being a fool enough to fuck up the home life either, he said. Are they so, still together? He, yeah. Bon Jovi well, married her at the Graceland Chapel in Las Vegas in 89 after being sweethearts in high school in New Jersey. He says we had the number one album, the number one single, and we were playing three nights at the Forum in L.A., so, this is a success story. This is about a marriage who made it work. Yes, you dilly-dallied with your mm -hmm. girth master every now and then or a little bit, and you stayed together. And they ran it? to Vegas and got married. Yeah. And now he's saying that she kind of turns a blind eye. Oh, currently. I guess current. Was it, is it currently, Liam? Historically. Historically. Uh-huh. Okay. So he's a historical cheater. So... Um, they're coming up on their 35th anniversary, Curtis's for wife, for his, her patience and tolerance over the years. Um, they have a mutual admiration in society and being lucky enough to have grown up together. So, yeah, he is now admitting that the song, Bed of Roses, was written about his infidelity. So I could not name that tune if you were to hum it. It's, it I don't remember it. On a bed of roses. Oh. I want to know. I remember. I wasn't born yet. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I don't remember that that song. Bed of Roses. I remember that part. Is it, remember, it, you sound like JoJo just there. You know, JoJo should cover Bed of Roses. Bed of Roses. Oh God, America's glittery Tasmanian devil. Well, here's the thing. Ooh. Millie Bobby Brown's engaged to John Bon Jovi's yes. son. Right. They're getting married soon. I love that. I hope. John Bon Jovi's son does not cheat on Millie Bobby Brown. And I hope he's not gay because she's homophobic. Oh, really? <laughs> no, it's like an internet meme. I'm sure okay. she's fine. She loves us, I'm sure. I was sure. like, wait a minute. No! Yeah. Um, you haven't seen that meme? No. When I see a f I floor it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. I'll send it to you. It's funny. Before Pride Month? Before Pride Month, John! <laughs> um, so, but John Bon Jovi actually has a rosé line 
Um, it is not called Bed of Roses, which oh. he should have done. Missed opportunity. What an idiot. Missed, what an idiot. Call us. You know what? And boo on her for staying with him because that is money right there. Yeah. So I looked up the top five celebrity roses worth buying. So Post Malone has one. It's a sexy Cameron- bottle. I would like... Are we going to see five dicks compared to these bottles of wine? We should. We should You're see. You're showing me five bottles. I want to sh- see who, which one's Which status. one does Girth Master have next to him? Yeah. So we have Post Malone. We have Cameron Diaz, Aveline. Post Malone's is called what? Maison nine? nine. Okay. Sarah Jessica Parker, John Legend. Oh, I didn't know that Brad Pitts was Miraval. Have you tried that? Mm-hmm. I used to love rosé when I drank. Mm-hmm. But I don't, I never was a big drinker anyway. I didn't like, to, but like, I did like a afternoon rosé. SJP's wins for me because I like her. You just like it? Yeah. You know what? It looks nice. You know what I did last year? Refreshing. I went down to Melon Rose mm-hmm. because the internet was abuzz saying that Kylie Minogue ah. was going to be there launching her new um, rosé. Uh-huh. Rosé line all the way down the damn street. I'm, I'm, sure like, I'm not was. waiting in line for this. What's it called? Padam. Padam, padam. padam, padam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It should be. But um, this is, uh, these are the top celebrity rosés. Mirror of All by Brad Pitt and formerly Angelina Jolie. So what? this one I feel like you could get at Trader Joe's. I'm not impressed. It's $28 a bottle and they say it's not worth going to court over. Yeah. Ooh. Damn. They say the wine has delicious citrus notes and floral notes, but consider they didn't consider the flavor memorable. I think it's, yeah, I think it's kind of bland. You're buying the brand, not the product. With yeah. This one. Okay. Well, in Vivo X by SJP, what yes. does this one have? This Simple, one is classic. Look at that gorgeous bottle. And just like that, I was day wasted. Ah. Um, and just like that, I was absolutely refreshed and transported to a romantic frolic amongst the city. I would love that. I, I would love to drink rosé with Sarah Jessica Parker. I think that'd be fun. And it makes sense. How much is this one? Do we have a, let's see, this one is $19.99. That's a bargain. It's a bargain. How much is like wine? <laughs> by the glass or by the bottle? By, like, yeah. Is that a good price? I mean, yeah. I mean, if you're going to get a bottle of wine in a restaurant, it's going to be 50. ridiculously expensive. Okay. But if you get like a glass, they could range from like 16 to like in the 20s. Oh, this and person up. didn't like this? Well, this, oh, yeah. Well. Uh, so it says it has floral notes, but on the palate, it was so acidic that it burned off my tongue. No, that <sighs> I mistook the notes for citrus. Sarah, it has a long finish, so the acid lingered in my mouth, which I disliked. I bet that Sarah is the type of person that will read this review, mm-hmm. talk to the people growing the grapes, and literally refarm them, reseed them, and then grow them again and make and take these notes into account. I disagree. I think oh. she's going to get all the people from the vineyard that you just spoke of Shoot with them. a blowtorch <laughs> and take them out like you did the bees. The bees. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> to each their own. <laughs> Maison number nine by Post Malone. You know, he just had a collaboration with both Beyonce and Taylor Swift. And I'm kind of here for the bottle. I am too. It looks kind of, yeah. The branding is correct. It's the same font as the uh, face tattoo. face tattoo, it's yeah. Gorge. And I like, yeah. And it's it's a nice color. Yeah. It's got the French colors. It's Let's the color see. of a dick. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it, yeah. It is. And it's $22 a bottle. The fleshy pink. That's not bad at all. A fleshy pink. Gorgeous. Like Post Malone's <laughs> post. Um, yeah. oh, they did not like it, but it was difficult for me <laughs> as a novice wine taster to identify any notes or anything that made this sip enjoyable. I felt like I was drinking water. It's my least favorite oh wine in the God. lineup, but pulled narrowly ahead of In Vivo when we averaged our two scores. Oh, wow. Harsh. So Post Malone is not it. Uh, LVE by John Legend. Um, I feel like John Legend would have a good rosé. Yeah. It's like he likes a piano and ballad and he, romance. Yeah, he has an Epicurean um, uh, lifestyle mm-hmm. with Chrissy's. This one's supposed to have notes of strawberry nectarine with a peach blossom, apricot, and raspberry. Okay, I'm kind of in. We agree that though we could only identify nondescript subtle notes of citrus, fruit, and acid. It was an enjoyable sip and worth the roughly $25 it typically retails for. It's just not as full bodied as the website would have told you. This person maybe has too much time on their hands. Like, I think so don't too. Don't you want to just get drunk? 
Well, also, I wish I had that job. Right. So I want to just sample rosé And it'd be like, it sucks. Like, yeah. aren't you trying to win friends? Yeah. Cancel John Legend. His wine sucks. <laughs> um, Aveline by Cameron Diaz. Now, she has to have a good wine. Where because has she, she been? has done nothing. She's yeah. done nothing. Like, she's been busy she's making been busy wine. She's been busy making wine. Yeah. She's in a barrel crushing her own grapes with Stomping. her feet. Yeah. So, let's see. I'm really hoping. This bottle uh, retails for $24 a bottle. It, it had an... In- Dentifiable strawberry nose and palate. The finish is full and delicious. And when researching the wine after the tasting, wasn't surprised to learn that DS and Power use organic grapes in all their wines. You scroll down, written by Cameron Diaz. Written by Cameron Diaz. This article she reporting. Is, yeah, she written the whole article. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. Can we go back up real? Let's see. Um, it took this woman a few sips to of Aveline after drinking otherwise to realize that it was so different from every other wine. It has a unique flavor that I appreciated more, which sometimes tasted more like spiked water. Spiked water, though, is big business. People are... White Claw is spiked yeah. water. Yeah. So, like, what is wrong with spiked water? Because it's supposed to be wine. Jesus turned water into wine. Thank like, you. Lest hard. we forget... <laughs> Cameron Diaz's Aveline Rosé wins because its flavor and purpose were clear. So, if you want to... Mm, Rosé, good for her. Good it is it is Aveline for it. Yes. Um, After she finished Miss Hannigan in the reboot of Annie, she said, you know what? I'm going to make wine. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm here for it because spring is here. If you want a nice rosé, by the way, I am living for the weather. I, and I <sighs> hate to close out on the weather, but we've had rain for the past. Look at me, like, I'm naked. I know, you look so good. Thanks. Guys, and if you're not watching this on YouTube for John's arms, what's wrong with you? If you're not jelking to my body right now. Yeah, you guys need to jelk to John. <laughs> jelking. Um, but I love it. Like all the jasmine is out. That's my favorite time of the year is spring. Is jasmine the stuff that smells like? No. Okay. That's dogwood. <laughs> you didn't even have to finish that sentence. And I knew exactly what you were talking about. No, the that jasmine is, oh, is That is very oh. shocking when you're walking. You're like, huh? And by the way, I don't know what that smell is. What? <laughs> no, I don't know what that smell is. Like, yeah. everyone always says that. They're like, oh my God, it smells like... Uh, and I'm like, I don't know what it smells like. Oh, is that weird? Mine doesn't smell like that. <laughs> it just smells feckened. <laughs> am I allergic to the smell? Maybe I am. I don't know. It's not a good smell. You're not like... Mm, it's not like smelling like um, Shake Shack. It's mm. Although... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if it was... <laughs> Honey, I'd be in line. Yeah. But I do love everyone's getting a little like sluttier now. Yeah, the shorts Sh- are getting up. shorts are getting tiny. Shirts are coming off. Yeah. Like I Colin love it. Farrell's running around WeHo in the shorts. God. Thank God. Free balling. My God. I know. Um I okay. want to go see challengers right now. All right. Well, let's get out of I'm here. I'm watching it in my mind. It's so good. Um who would be our Zendaya? The two of us. Who would be the girl that we? Oh, if it was over? me and you with us, the yeah. tennis players. Who would it be? JoJo Siwa. No, I would fight you for her. I mean, I would just <sighs> be like, okay, and leave. You're gonna have her. No, I would say, like, who in our Shane, Doug Boot, MJ, <laughs> MJ or um, Carney? Carney. Oh yeah. Carney's, I'm making her mind. Carney's our Zendaya. Yeah. And it's her birthday. So happy birthday, Carney Wilson. We love you. Happy birthday, Carney. All right. Well, thank you so much, John thank Hill. Thank you. I will see you on May 9th yeah. here at the store. And also, I think I'm doing the news with John Hill May 7th on uh, Sirius XM. Stop me, joking me. Let me joke you for that. Um, And as always, oh, yeah. And guys, Mother's Day is around the corner. Uh, the best gift for mom, I would say, get Cozy Earth. I mean, joggers, pants, sheets, towels, all of it. And I have a promo code CE Justin 40 C C E Justin 40 for 40% off your entire purchase this Mother's Day. Cozyearth.com. What was that? Do you have anything? I'm swallowing a yawn. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I'm glad this was enthusiastic for you. No, I want actually some cozy earth because I need new sheets for my king size bed. The that I got. best. I can't recommend I them that. enough. But we will see you next time here on the Just Saying Podcast. You guys have a fantastic week. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.